Hey everybody. Um, I haven't updated in a while just to let you know how Kennedy's doing and you guys haven't seen her so here she is. Kennedy say hello. Oh, got a little something. You like looking at yourself, don't you? I know. It's nap time though. Kennedy, um, we got her x-rays and stuff back. She really wants to look at herself, so we got our x-rays and stuff back. Um, so she just has a severe case of reflux, so she just kind of has to grow out of that. Um, which I'm happy it's nothing serious and they didn't have to feed my baby through a tube, but she did have to drink this stuff, um, this barium, this really, really thick liquid. And it's supposed to slide down. Um, it's supposed to slide down smoothly and from the mouth to the esophagus to the stomach, and hers didn't. Um, <clears throat> so um, it it's like some of it went down, but not all of it. But um, she'll grow out of it. Um, she's been doing so much better. Uh, I have started baby food with her. I make my own baby food. I don't buy it. Um, so she's eating pears. I puree everything. Pears, sweet potatoes, peas, and bananas. So that's what she's getting. And since she's been on her solid food, her projectile vomiting is like few and far in between like I went two days without her throwing up <clears throat> um and now when she throws up it's her mucus which we've gotten that under control with her humidifier and saline drops and stuff like that um so that's not even really that bad I feel like now my baby's she's you know regulating her body her body is getting regulated um but she's doing like so much better um, so, and it's that little, when she does throw up, it's like the little bitty baby throw up that, that's just like, oh my God, that's so cute. Oh. What do you want? You want your passy? <coughs> well, you can go to sleep if you weren't so nosy now, couldn't you? Um, So yeah, Kennedy's doing just fine. Kennedy has been learning sign language. She's doing well on that. Um, she's picking up on a couple of words. She doesn't sign back, but her reaction to some of the signs um, helps me um, understand what she wants and what she needs at that time. So um, what else are we doing? We do story time. We're doing tummy time. Um, what else? So yeah. Um, and I know she's not exactly four months yet for her baby food, but the doctor said, um, <clears throat> make her cereal a little thicker. So I said, well, what's the difference of me making her cereal thicker and just starting her on baby food? Because when her cereal is extremely thick, she doesn't, she doesn't spit up like that. Um, and she said that Starting babies on solids um, is more about the weight and their tongue thrust um, because they're so used to drinking from a bottle that they just spit everything out. So she says she's now 14 pounds, which is that's where they really should be. They should either be double their birth weight or uh, 14 pounds before you start them on solids. Um, she said sprinkling a little bit of cereal in their bottle is okay once they turn two weeks old. So I was just like, okay. So once I heard all that, I said, okay. So we tried it. And the first day, it took her about three to four table, or not tablespoons, the little baby spoons um, to understand, like to not push it out. It really didn't take her that long. Um, some people look for the signs of tongue thrusting to stop or subside a little bit um, before they start giving the baby food. But <clears throat> if they're going to always be used to the bottle and 
how are they going to ever learn how to take a spoon versus a bottle nipple? So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it just took, it really didn't even take that long. And now she knows how to open her mouth and get her food off her spoon like a grown person. <laughs> I only feed her once a day. <clears throat> Here. I only feed her once a day, and then when she turns two months or four months next week, um, or the week after next, I'll do her twice a day. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. If anybody's trying to feed their baby, because some people's just like, oh my god, no, wait till six months, and then some people's just like, oh, I did it at four, whatever. Some people, very, very, very few people I've read online or even seen YouTube videos of three month olds. Um, <clears throat> But I, I don't know if it's like a natural instinct, but once you put the spoon in their mouth, then it just takes them a couple, I don't want to say all kids, but it took my child a couple spoonfuls to figure out like, okay, this isn't a bottle and I need to eat the food. And it's so, it's pureed and kind of watery anyway, so <clears throat> it's not like she has to know how to chew anything because it's nothing to chew, so... But she's been doing very, very well. My little munchkin poo is still sleeping through the night. Um, so. Um, what else? So. <clears throat> I'm ready for another baby. Um, I'm ready. Some days I'm just like, nah. But I think overall... I'm about 85% ready to do this again. And Kennedy's not even one. I, I don't want Irish twins. Um, for those of you that don't know what Irish twins are, it's babies who are siblings who are the same age for a couple months because they're so close. They're not, they're not close enough. They're really close to be the same age, but they're not twins because obviously they weren't born together. Um, so I don't want Irish twins, but I really, 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 really want another baby. And I've been feeling this way for about the past month. So I don't know. I'm going to try to make it through the summer before we go back and rescue our other children out of the freezer. <laughs> Um, try to make it through this summer. But it's gonna be rough. I can't make any promises. I told my husband, I said, if we go, if we go right now. Since I had a C section, we get to schedule the next C section. So if we go right now and we get pregnant, we can schedule the baby to be born on my birthday in December. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. We'll see. I do kind of want to make it through the summer because I didn't really get a summer last year. Cause I was pregnant and it was hot couldn't do much and so couldn't go to any water parks couldn't get on any roller coaster so I might want to make it through the summer so we'll see I see you yawning is mom interrupting your nap so I'm gonna put Miss Kennedy to bed the princess is out um, I'm getting ready to take her when she wakes up we're gonna go to the park and have some mommy daughter time today. So everybody tell Kennedy good night. She is out. My baby. Bye. <laughs>